so basically the company didn't provide any box with the unboxing so you know I just thought what if I put the mouse in a cereal box and we'll just unbox it from there okay so let me just uh, put my hand in real quick get the mouse okay so there we go okay so there we go that's our mouse okay 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 so basically today we're going to be reviewing a $1 gaming mouse and we're going to be seeing its true potential. This mouse did indeed cost $1. I will be showing you on the screen of this mouse. Surprisingly this $1 mouse did not have an unboxing. There is legit no box that came with this or anything. You just get this in a bag, in a plastic bag. Now for one dollar, they give you a DPI. A they give you a DPI up there. Uh, two click buttons, as almost every mouse has. A scroll wheel, which is very untextured, like it's plastic. Even a DPI button feels like some like Lego, or no, not even Lego. It feels like like I don't even know. It's weird. And they give you two very, very, very small mouse buttons, like very small mouse buttons that I don't even know how you're gonna even like click on these because they're incredibly small so like like i don't know why it looks like some happy meal toy like i'm, I'm not even joking so yeah that's so that for one dollar you get the dpi the two mouse buttons and that's pretty much it like the crazy stuff uh which almost what well, one dollar mouse includes which is for, like for one dollars it's not bad so there we go and let's go see in game how good of a mouse this is for almost every single thing so let's just put these AAA batteries in the side. Okay, so you just want to put that there on the other side and then put this one here. Okay, so once you have both of these inside the mouse, all you got to do is just put this cover on. Okay, there we go. So now the batteries inside are inside of the mouse and the only thing you have to do is you just want to take this and plug this in your computer. In there. There we go. Okay, so that's in there. Once you plug in that, um, you're gonna see 2.4G mouse, and that's basically the $1 mouse. And you're probably wondering, why is it not working? Now, this I realized this after one day, but <laughs> there's a little, a very little switch here, and this is your on and off switch. You just gotta turn that on, and there you go, and then it'll start to work. So, as you can see, it's now working. So one of the one thing I really don't like about this mouse is that the texture is plastic, right? So your finger, it, 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 I don't know why, but the mouse is so slippery all the time because your fingers get sweaty and the mouse is plastic and plastic is very, I don't know why pl plastic just loves sweat for some reason and it causes it to slip a lot. It's kind of annoying if you want a god bridge or you know bridge because this does get slippery. So I usually have like a tissue to like wipe my sweat off the mouse but yeah let's just go test this out and how good of a mouse this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try uh, long dragging oh 12 there so I mean it's still bad uh, Fourteen, fifteen there but this is getting the same amount of CPS as the M711 Cobra Okay, let's try again. 15 there. 16 there, 16 there. So the highest CPS I could get on this mouse was like 16, but I feel like someone better than me can get way more than I did. But for $1, like, that's not bad. I used to get like 16 to 20 on my... M711 Cobra that I used to have. So this one's one dollar, so that's a big difference. So for one for one dollar, it isn't as bad. It can drag click much better than my office mouse. So, which my office mouse is five dollars, but this is one dollar, which I wouldn't say is bad. Like one dollar, you gotta you kind of gotta think like one dollar. It's not like it's for one dollar. It's not bad. And as well, it can. Let me try. I just don't like the plastic quality. But let me try. It can double click, so that's one really good thing. 
Uh, I can get like 8 to 10 CPS. So let me try again. Yeah, 8 to 10 there. Okay, so I got I can get like 8 to 10 CPS double clicking, which is not bad either. Since this mouse can get at least 6 CPS, let's see if we can get a moonwalk with this. Oh, bro, we made it to the other side. Okay. So the thing with this mouse is that you can get 8 CPS, but if your timing is really good, you can probably moonwalk and breezely bridge too. Cause let me try again with breezely. Yeah, so you can definitely breezely all the way down there too. But I personally, I've never really breezely bridged cause I don't really like breezely bridging. So in all honesty, I would just say that eight to t you can't really god bridge as consistent with 8 to 10 CPS, but I feel like this mouse is really good for moonwalking because um, moonwalking is all about timing, right? And this can get 8 CPS, which is more, which is enough for moonwalking. I'm not really good at Breezley. I've never really tried Breezley bridging, but I'll try it. Yeah, see, you can Breezley bridge. Obviously, I don't Breezley bridge because I don't know how to. Oh my god, we made it, we made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. Okay, listen, I, I'm sorry if I freak out if I god bridge, but on a one dollar mouse, we made it to the other side. That's, that's insane. The thing is that like eight to 10 CPS isn't really consistent with God for God bridging, nor is it with, with God bridging. So you know, eight to 10 CPS is not consistent with God bridging at all. But if you really want to moonwalk or, you know, breezy bridge, I think this is a great mouse for that. But other than that, I don't think that I would recommend this mouse for God bridging. Like, yeah, I made it to the other side, but if you can get if you can get really consistent, you can probably God bridge with this mouse as well. Like I just did, but it's not bad actually. One dollar, it's not bad. We're gonna be playing Skywars like a pro with a one dollar mouse, so there's nothing to be worried about here. We got a one dollar mouse with us, so it's not. Good. It's not bad at all. One dollar mouse, guys. Oh, oh. Okay, it's okay. I want a butterfly click with my one dollar mouse. Die. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any blocks, so we're probably losing this game. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna get some blocks here. I just don't like the build quality. That's it. Well, I can't really complain because this mouse is one dollars, and the company probably put. I don't understand how the company put less than a dollar into this mouse, like, I don't understand. Um, okay. Uh, let's get our stuff here. Oh, okay, you, you, you're aggressive, you, you want, you want some, you want some, bro, you want some? Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm insane, I'm so insane, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? You see this guy? He was coming at me, did you see him? But he knew that I had a one dollar mouse and that he would lose. So you gotta you guys gotta you gotta you gotta, you gotta be aware about what you're doing. Alright, 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 let's just build up. Oh, oh I'm so sorry skeleton, I love you bro. Oh, he came back. What, what, what? I don't know how Skywars works, okay. Yo. Oh, why do people do this? I'm so confused. But this isn't Fortnite at all, okay? You don't want to block yourself in a box. If, if this was Fortnite, I would just edit this out and then kill him, okay? But it's okay. I'm just going to do this. Bro. Oh, 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 oh. Fortnite works. See? Fortnite, Fortnite tips work. Basically, what I thought was that, you know, in Fortnite, if you're in a box and you want to get out, you just got to edit that and then you kill them, right? So that's what I did, but in Minecraft. So that's pretty cool. Mouse is doing a really good job, not gonna lie. Like, it's, I already got three kills with a $1 mouse. It butterflies really well, I gotta say that. Like, 20 CPS on a $1 mouse. It, it, it's, it's good, like I gotta admit that. It's pretty good for that. Yo, yo, this guy's aggressive. You guys, you killed my skeleton, man. Okay. 
I'll avenge you, bro. Okay, um, where is this last guy? Fear me, bro. I got a $1 mouse. Oh, there he is. He's so aggressive. He's gapping up like a sweat. Whoa, he's cheating. He's so... Okay. All right, what's up? Well, GG. That was insane, bro. That was insane. Oh my god, it's a level one Steve. I feel like this guy's gonna be a hacker. He's gonna be a hacker. He's a... He's level one Steve. Guys, I think we got a hacker. Well, um... <laughs> okay. Alright, let's try, uh... I don't play UAT, but I feel like it's the most longest duel that I can play. And record, like, what it... What this meant. So, it can hotkey very well. As well, I feel like, uh... If you have, the mouse is kind of small, which kind of allows you to like, oh, 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 this is, okay, as you can see, I'm butterflying, okay, hold up, hold up, what is happening, look at these, com look at these combos, look at these combos, he can't touch me at all, whoa, 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 I'm dead, I'm so dead, okay, there we go. There we go. That was insane. For the finale of this video, I hope you got an idea of this 2.4 GHz gaming mouse. For one dollar, you can get a lot in return. Still, though, most of people most people won't buy this mouse because the build quality is really cheap and it is very plastic. Obviously, getting a mouse for a bit more is much better. This video was an entertaining review as I wanted to see the true potential of a $1 gaming mouse. I still gotta admit that it is just at the same level of skill as other budget mice. It gets 8 to 10 CPS for short drags, and my longest drag was 18 CPS off camera. For people, it's for PvP, it's also really good. 20 CPS butterfly is really OP and it can consistently get 15 CPS while butterfly clicking. I really suggest going for this mouse if you extremely cannot afford any drag clicking mouse at all. This mouse indeed gets the job done which is the only thing that really matters, uh, but obviously it needs more practice with. It even gives you two side mouse buttons, a DPI to 3200, all in one dollar which really surprises me. I was able to consistently moonwalk with ease, but god bridging is inconsistent with this mouse. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, subscribing and liking will really let me know how well I did. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.